This Windler Cove boathouse sits on the shore of the Harlem River. It's home to a high school crew team comprised of students from around the city. About three years ago, one of the coaches from this boathouse came to my school and told us about it, and I'd never heard of rowing before, ever. So I decided to try it and really loved it. This boathouse was built by the New York Restoration Project, Bette Midler's organization, raised all the money and built it up in Norwalk, Connecticut by Foglietta and Sons, and then it was floated down uh, through Long Island Sound, down the Hudson, down the Harlem to where it sits now. Crew is um, rowing. You row the long boats that you see on like college brochures. The New York Rowing Association saw the need for kids from New York City to get the opportunity to row. Sport that's generally unknown to most students in New York City and most you know people, period. We have kids from all walks of life. We have kids from living the projects. We have kids who live on Park Avenue. They all row on one team together. One hand inside, one hand inside. Rolling it out and in. You have to work together with everybody that's on your boat to move forward and you have to be in time with everybody. And we combine a lot of high schools, which is really nice because I meet people from different places. Right now, I'm in the shell, which is the boat. I am the coxswain. I drive the boat and I steer it and I tell the rowers what to do. Most of the responsibility is on me. If I crash a boat, that's my fault. If I steer it the wrong way, that's my fault. I have my foot stretchers in here. Keeps me from flying all the way up the slide and down the slide. Crew is very, it's very hard. You need a lot of stamina and practice. The great thing about practice is, you know, you get two, three hours just to, you know, just, just row. And you just will not care about anything. You just, it's you, your crew, and just focus and pull hard. If you know that crew is like helping you physically and mentally because basically you have to choose mind over matter. It's something that opens up doors. Like it's, it's done so much for me, it's done so much for my friends. I've met so many new people. Um, I get to travel a lot now. I race in Jersey, I race in Philly, I go to Boston. I got my passport for the first time because of this. I went to Canada. And uh, so I had to like <laughs> expedite a passport because my coach was like, oh, you guys need a passport in two weeks. Like, they see this as a great opportunity, and it is. It gets them into college, it gets them into really good schools. And like, you know, Rico had the Princeton coach calling him in September. You know what I mean? Like, we want you. It's kind of cool. Well, we've got kids recruited to MIT, Princeton, Columbia, uh, Cornell, Dartmouth, Brown. So it's been a good year. Well, I like sculling a lot because it's like really even and like almost meditative, even though you're like pushing the hardest you can, you're, you're like so calm and you know relaxed. Wait a second. Last 20 seconds! Come on, man, sit up, man! Hang! Hang! The quad. Light pressure on the paddle, on the paddle. Let's go. The hands away, take the rating up. Let's go, Derek. Get up to 35. You know you did a good job if your body is sore, and then you wake up the next day and you can't get up, but then you know, I did, I did good. I did really good. And it's just really about who wants it more and who wants to just kick butt and just win. If you're interested in joining the team, log on to the New York Rowing Association's website.